Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tinu and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be doing one of my favorite videos that I ever want to do. I wanted to let you guys know my top 10 fragrances for life. Like if I was to lose all my fragrances through a fire, the top 10 fragrances that I would grab if my house burnt down. I saw this video floating around the YouTube and I was like, let me also get on that train and do that video also so I can let you guys know some of my fragrances that are the top 10 that I would want for life out of my 400 plus collection of fragrances. Before I go ahead and continue this video, if you're new to my channel and you're watching me for the first time and you're wondering what I'm all about, my name is Tinu and I'm a lover of fragrances, beauty, and lifestyle. If that is what floats your boat, you know what to do. Consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the post notification so you can be notified when I post a fresh new content. And if you're liking this video so far, don't forget to hit that like button. It really, really helps my channel grow. Now let us get on with the purpose of the video. So as I said today, we're going to be talking about my top 10 fragrances for life. I'm going in no particular order. I'm just picking out a fragrance and telling you all about it. Now the first fragrance I'm going to pick out is a fragrance from Burberry. This is called Burberry Brit Eau de Parfum. This fragrance is actually in an old bottle. It actually has a new bottle to it, but this is the old bottle that I do have. I do own the EDT version, but this one is my favorite version of them all. This one has, I believe, almond. It has some lime, I believe, in it. It is very citrusy, very creamy. I believe there is some kind of jasmine in here as well, some kind of sandalwood. This is like a very everyday type of fragrance. If you want to go to the gym, if you want to go shopping, run errands, this is the kind of fragrance I put on. It's inoffensive. It is very crowd pleasing. People like to smell fresh things. And whenever I put this on, I do get compliments. It is quite long lasting for a citrus smelling fragrance. I would say seven hours plus. I do not know how the new version smells like or if it smells way better or if it's downplayed. Nine times out of 10, when they come out with a new bottle, they always mess around with the fragrance. So I'm not really sure how the new one smells like, but this is supposed to be the same as this bottle. Notwithstanding, this is a great fragrance. If you're looking for that everyday, girly, fresh fragrance, Burberry Brit Eau de, de Parfum is the best way to go. I move on. Now we're gonna talk about more fresh smelling fragrances. Another freshie that I love that is one of my top 10 for life, it's from Balenciaga. This is Flora Botanica. This is a mint cannabis smelling fragrance. It also has notes of carnation, and I think it has some moxie notes to this. This is another fresh smelling, beautiful fragrance. I believe there is some kind of bergamot in here as well. It is such a beautiful everyday staple. I love this bottle and I really gatekeeping this and saving this because this is no longer being sold. I don't know if you're still able to find this fragrance, but all I know is that they discontinued this and I don't understand the reason why. Because this is a great fragrance. This smells very beautiful, very fresh, crips, clean, feminine women. I even think a man can wear this and pull this off. So it's such a beautiful fragrance. I don't really understand these companies when they discontinue their fragrance. They just get on my nerves. But all I can tell you about this is that it's really long lasting. I would say 10 hours for this. This is a really, really long lasting freshie in my opinion. And I love this. I adore it. I'm still hogging onto my bottle till I find something else. And then I would start using this more because I'm scared that I'm not going to be able to replace this again. Again, this is Flora Botanica from Bella Siega. I move on. Now, another freshie 
that I want to add. It looks like this whole video is going to be on refreshies, but trust me, I'm going to talk about something else after this. This is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Order Intense. This is the intense version of the original. I love this one much better because it does last and perform better than the original. This has notes of Granny Smith Apple and some lemon in there. It's very moxy. I believe it has some sandalwood in there. Guys, this one is one of the best OG fragrances ever. When everyone started wearing fragrances, they were wearing light blue. Light blue original was the top of the line. Everybody had that in their collection. It was just crazy. Like if you smelled right and left, you would smell light blue. It was kind of how like Baccarat Rouge is now. That's how light blue was when it first came out. If you understand what I mean, comment down below. You, you guys know what I mean when I tell you light blue was popping during those days. And everybody smelled like this. If you were smelling like light blue, you had money. But now, other fragrances are taking placeholder for this. But this one is still my number one. If I was to lose all my fragrances, I would want this to be in my collection. I'd repurchase this in a heartbeat. So I love this one. It's really great on projection, sillage, great, great, great citrus, happy, fun fragrance. I love this. I move on. Now, another fragrance that I could not, I mean, I could not not add this to my collection is from YSL. This is called Libre Le Parfum. This is the third flanker to their OG. And um, this one was the best out of all the other flankers that they came out with. Although I do own the intense version, this is my favorite out of all of them. This one has notes of lavender. The lavender is actually not as much, but the vanilla in here is beautiful and it has honey and saffron in there. It just kind of gives it a different spin off from the OG. I love this one so much. It's just very very sexy exotic it's alluring it's very just put together like a woman that's put together that is you know getting ready for date night that is wearing a beautiful dress and some blue baton heels and she is about to see her man this is how this fragrance makes me feel it is very date night friendly very party friendly like it's beast mode so one thing you know is that you're going to get smelled people are going to smell you when you leave the room they are going to be asking you what you're wearing because they're going to want to smell like this it smells sweet and delicious it's a little more gourmand because of the honey note in there so i love this version and it's you know less lavender more sexiness so yeah this is one of my top 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 of the line i really really recommend this this is one of the ogs that if i lost my whole collection it has to be in there and i will get it and repurchase it and repurchase it again again this is ysl's libre intense i move on the next fragrance is one of my gateway niche fragrances that basically introduced me into niche fragrances i never knew what niche fragrances was till i found this fragrance this is mancera's roses vanille this is a rose centered fragrance it has top notes of lemon the mid notes of rose and then you get that mux and vanilla and then some kind of either cedar or sandalwood in there gives you that woodiness oh my god guys this is one of the best fragrances ever with the notes that are in there it smells more complex the notes gives you simplicity of this fragrance but there's nothing simple about this it's very complex it has this middle eastern vibe to me it is just opulent it actually vibes with oud bouquet by lancome but this is way better way better honey there's something sugary about this and there's not a, a note of sugar something honey about this and there's not a note of honey maybe they're gatekeeping their notes but let me tell you something there's something more to this fragrance that meets the eye i love this so much and this is one of my first niche fragrances if you're looking for a gateway niche fragrance roses vanille is the best if you like roses if you don't like roses then stay away from it this will get you through the whole workday 12 hours plus i'm telling you projection is there 
Ciliage is there. Longevity is there. This is top of the line, one of the most talked about niche fragrances on the YouTube. Everyone talks about Roses Vanille and it's definitely for a good reason. It's not for a bad reason. It's really, really good. I really, really recommend it. Now, another fragrance that I want to talk about, it's from Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is La Belle, and this is the original, not the intense. This one is a great pear fragrance. If you're looking for that pear fragrance that will put you on the map, this one is top of the line. To me, it smells like a rum, drunken pear dipped in saffron. That's not what you get with the notes. The notes are different than what I get from this fragrance. The notes are pear, I think. There's some kind of vetiver in there and I think there's some other note. I think it's just three notes. But this fragrance tells me more. Tells me they're gatekeeping their scents. As I said, I get saffron. I get something woody, like there's some sandalwood in here. I get vanilla too. Yeah, I definitely get the pear because I know what pear smells like and I eat pears all the time. Like a nice Bartlett pear. <laughs> That's what it smells like. There is so much more to this fragrance that meets the eye. This fragrance, like I said, it's a beautiful, juicy pear that is drunk in rum. It's like a little boozy scent here. Guys, this is beautiful. If you're looking for a really great pear scent and long lasting that will give you that sexiness, that, you know, vibe. Yeah, you need to get this. I don't even know what to say anymore about this. This one is the best I've come across. And I've had other pure fragrances and this one does not disappoint. This is beautiful. It's great on longevity, great on projection, great with sillage, all those good stuff that you expect in the fragrance. I really, really love this and I really recommend it as one of my top 10 for life. Now another fragrance I'm going to talk about is a fragrance from the Middle Eastern line. I actually recently just acquired this into my collection but when I smelt it I was like this has to be one of the best, the best fragrances I've ever smelt. This fragrance they said is supposed to be a dupe to YSL's Baby Cat. I don't own YSL's Baby Cat, neither have I smelt it before but when I smelt this fragrance I said you know what I don't care what YSL Baby Cat smells like, but I love this one. This is Rifa Quat by Paris Corner. This fragrance is really, really great. It has notes of alumi in there. It has olibanum. It has some saffron, some vanilla, some cedar wood. It is a really classic fragrance. It's a warm, spicy vanilla. It's not sweet, but there's something soft, sweet about it, smoky about it. I love this fragrance. It just kind of gives you that warm, cozy vibe. It kind of reminds me of By the Fireplace that is done better. By the Fireplace is its own breed, but it's like, it's not appealing to everybody. This one, I think, is appealing to everybody because it's a little more, you know, sweet, vanilla, spicy fragrance. Oh my God. This just puts me in terms of being by the fireplace with the marshmallow actually roasting on the fire. That's what this smells like. And it smells kind of a little slightly rubbery, not too rubbery where it smells like a burnt tire, but it just smells sexy, smoky. Someone giving you a close hug. I love this fragrance. I don't care what YSL Baby Cat smells like. I just care what Reefer Quad smells like. This smells really opulent and really beautiful. If you're looking for that kind of feeling, get your hands on Paris Corners Reef Aqua. I move on. Next fragrance I'm gonna talk about is from Paco Rabanne. This is called Olympia. This is another fragrance that I really, really enjoy. It is such a beautiful amber vanilla fragrance. It's amber on steroids. It has salt. I think it has um, some sea notes but it's a very great vacation ready fragrance. If you're looking for um, a fragrance that is going to put you in that mindset of going to the vacation, going to like Bora Bora or something, 
or summer nights, this is really going to be your friend. This is great for if you're going to the club, doing the hot weather, if you're going out and having fun, it's really, really great to have. I've always had this in my collection. By the way, this is my second bottle. I love Olympia. It's one of the cult fragrance people always talk about this fragrance now they're not talking about it anymore because there's too many fragrances to talk about you know there's so much fragrances out there that we can't talk about everything all the time but this one is one of my top 10 that i would always want in my collection because it does have great projection it does have great lasting power it does command presence people will smell you they will smell that ambery goodness in your body when you spray this on I love this so much and it's one of my top 10 that I would never want to lose in my collection. I move on. Now I got two more fragrances to talk about before we end this video. The next fragrance I'm going to talk about is one of my favorite lavender vanillas other than Libre Intense or the Le Parfum. This is from Guerlain and this is called Mangalan Intense and this is a great lavender vanilla. It has lavender, it has two vanillas in here, it has some patchouli, oh my god, it has, I think it has jasmine, some sandalwood in here, some citrusy notes of bergamot, there's something citrusy in the top, oh my god, I think there's even a mandarin orange or orange note in here too it is such a beautiful scent guys if you're looking for something nighttime appropriate that will make you feel so feminine feel so sexy this is one of the fragrances you need this is a cult favorite as well the og is a cult favorite i'm telling you original mangalan but this one just goes up a notch with the vanilla so it makes it more long lasting, more powerful, more enveloping, more alluring, more sexy. This is just stunning. Like, I don't know how to describe this any more than I did. Like, I wear this and people give me compliments. They always want to know what, I'm, what am I wearing, even though it's a designer fragrance. It is really, really niche smelling. It's beautiful, it's sexy. It's all the good things, guys. I love this and I will always have this in my collection, even when I run out. I move on. The final fragrance of all is Alien Goddess Intense. This is from Muggler. This is one of my favorite aliens so far. When they came out with this, I was like, add to cart, blind brought this and it was successful in my opinion. This is a coconut version of the original Alien. It has orange blossom. It has, I think it has orange blossom, jasmine, the good things. It has the coconut. Guys, this one. Oh, guys, this one is so good. I love it because it is still in the same wavelength with the OG, but there is something different because of that coconut. It kind of gives it a tropical vibe and it gives it a different vibe altogether. I love this one so much. I even have a dance and... It just stands out for me. When you let this macerate, it does gradually get stronger. Initially when I got it, it wasn't really too beast mode, but now I'm getting 10 hours on this because it's sat in my collection and it's gotten more stronger. The vanilla, I believe, has gotten this juice to be darker. It's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I love this one so much and if you're not a fan of jasmine you're probably not gonna like this but if you like jasmine you're gonna love this fragrance a lot it is such a stunning stunning release that they came out with and I'm glad to have this in my collection for life that's it guys thank you guys so much for staying tuned if you have any questions about any of these fragrances that I've mentioned please don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you have a top 10 of your choice I want to see what your top 10 is Leave me a comment of what your top 10 choices are. And if there are any here that are your faves and your top 10 for life from the ones I've mentioned, also feel free to let us girl chat down below. Let's discuss about it. Let us chat about this. It's kind of fun to talk about. So if you guys have any other videos that you want me to do in the future, let me know. I'm open to getting ideas from you guys to see what you guys like you know, pick your brain a little bit. So thank you guys again for watching. I really, really enjoy doing this video for you. If you like this video again, please 
hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel, what are you waiting for? The subscribe button is down below waiting for you. Go ahead and click it. Join the family. Let's become friends. Thank you guys again for your love and support. I love you guys and I will see you in another video. Bye.